five years since people from all across the country protested on our streets. November 22nd, 2014, a Cleveland police officer shot 12-year-old Tamir Rice. Tonight, tonight, hundreds of people packed the Cleveland Museum of Art to celebrate his life. And his mother talked about how his legacy will live on. News 5's Amanda Van Allen has more. They tell us we be murdered by the police. It was a celebration of life, love, and action. We have the power to transform a grave injustice. Trailblazers from across the country and right here in Northeast Ohio joined together to mourn the death of Tamir Rice nearly five years later. I was thrust into this life um, and it was not the life that I chose. This is God's plan. 12-year-old Tamir was shot and killed by Cleveland police officer Timothy Lohman while playing with a toy gun in a park. His mother, Samaria Rice, is still broken. It has not been easy in a society where humanity is our last consideration. Nowadays, she puts much of her energy into police reform. I'm here to make it uncomfortable because we need some change. <laughs> And now Samaria is adding something else to the list, the Tamir Rice Afrocentric Cultural Center. She says it's her new baby. Where I put all of my nurturing that I have for Tamir, I put it all in there. The Tamir Rice Foundation has some really big plans for this cultural center. They want to put in a music studio and an art station, and they want the community to help make this big dream a reality. Tonight, our goal is to raise $20,000. Samaria took News 5 to the building in the 6,000 block of St. Clair last year when she bought it. The rooms were empty and a bit run down, but now there's a vision. This is how we're going to transform that building. And Tamir's spirit will live on through this community, the center, and his mother, who still hasn't given up. I am a woman, I'm a mother, and I am an activist for change. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.